Hi guys, I wanted to make this video because I was just trying to test out uh, some grades and I just found this one like pretty uh, cool. For this video, I used the plugin Dehancer. Uh, I have a promo code for Dehancer on all their plugins. Uh, it's 10% uh, off with the code FRENCHY10. So for your info, the Answer Pro plugin will increase its price the 1st of June. So I think it's a great opportunity to use this promo code right now. So then like you will have your Dehancer with like the, the old price and 10% uh, off. Okay, let's jump in the tutorial. So here we are in our timeline guys. I wanted to make this video just like because I was doing a look research for another project and I just did a combination which like actually I was figuring out that maybe it would make your workflow more efficient if you do this kind of look. So I'm just gonna show you like really quickly uh, what I've done. Uh, I reassure you like the footage that I'm using is not the <laughs> It's not actually the project I was working on. Uh, this one uh, has been released for quite some time. Um, this was shot by Sam Koe. Uh, I have a lot of footage from him because we are working together quite often. So I'm just like putting his Instagram in the description. And also if you want to check the director, uh, um, his work for this Piece. Uh, this is Aswa, so I'm gonna uh, put his Instagram also in the description. So have fun. Just uh, just like say to them that uh, you come from me. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> you know. Um, so uh, I'm just gonna drop a color space transform, and um, I'm gonna go from a red. So this one is a red Komodo footage uh, to Rex 709. Okay, um, also for color management, I am Rex 709 Sin and Rex 709 Gamma 2.4. I stay in the Rex 709 space. And um, what I'm gonna do is just like putting my frame to a hero frame like this. And uh, we're gonna go to the Hanser. So the enhancer, we're just gonna drop the enhancer, and we're gonna stay in the Rex of the nine space, okay? Um, so uh, I'm just gonna drop. Um, I I wanted uh, the color plus, yeah, the Kodak color plus two hundred, which is pretty nice actually. It's making a very nice result. I'm just gonna hide my clips. Very nice result. And uh, what is really interesting actually with the Hanser is uh, you can choose your film, like just the film, and you can choose your print. So that means that like instead of having like uh, the resolve uh, lot, you know, film looks that they have, that is only your film print, um, you can couple uh, a film and a way of printing. So uh, a way of printing, like you can find back your uh, Fujifilm 3513 uh, or your Kodak 2383 and you have also a glossy paper. But I really like the effect of the 2383, like there's a, there's a way more cyan uh, in the shadows, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, so for the moment, I'm just going to remove the film grain because I want to first do my primaries and after I'm gonna I'm gonna just like tailor uh, the the LUT and the plugin. Um, so let's just go up just like to open up our image and to see what's going on actually inside. Okay. And uh, we're just gonna uh, put a, a down a slight of light. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So we are organized people. So <laughs> we just like uh, put the node label HDR LGG. And so um, now I'm just gonna do the skin tone. So um, I just feel like 
uh, that was the purpose that you know like the the light was this uh, white on him but i'm just gonna um you know change this for a bit i'm just gonna take my color wrapper and uh, we're gonna try to color pick where this light is and it's completely at the center so i'm just gonna take my center and move the overall um, color to something a bit more uh, skin tonish, I would say. Like just like to bring a bit more pop to the skin tone. Okay, I, I mean like uh, anything, you know, like the wool, uh, the wool color is moving at the same time, so then it affects my lights. So that's okay. I'm just like taking my blue spectrum. I'm just gonna uh you know boost it a bit so i have a nice separation between the skin and uh the the neon okay okay that's pretty nice like this okay perfect and uh we're gonna do uh just a uh, uh, color separation color step color step for color separation after i've done this i can maybe go back actually to uh my uh, dehancer and we're gonna tailor a bit more uh the color just like with dehancer like let me just put that dehancer and this one is cst so then like you can see a bit better during the tutorial um so Let's see what we have uh, under film. We have the film developer and actually we can uh, affect just our film like this. So um, I'm just going to play with the contrast boost. And actually like I don't want so much contrast because it's going to crush it like really quickly. Uh, gamma correction. No. Uh, color separation. Actually that's fine. Uh, and color boost ah why not why not a bit of color boost like just to have a look that is a bit pushed you know so a uh, color boost like this i think i'm fine like that i'm fine like that yeah okay so after this um i want to use uh the uh, settings for the film print uh, because it's quite interesting like you can uh, have the color density like straight away uh, on your uh, plugin which like normally if I uh, use color density I would do uh, saturation uh, this is like the first I think one of the first video I put on YouTube um, which is like the saturation tip between uh, HSL and HSV so when you go um, up with the color density the the colors are more saturated but more darker and when you go up the colors are lighter so uh, i'm just going to go uh, uh, go up go down sorry uh, i'm just going to go down yeah and uh what if i remove a bit of saturation just a tad just a tad that's quite nice it's quite nice I like that okay um color head why not color head uh it's pretty fun actually because you can affect uh the shadows the mid-tones and the highlight tones um with like uh, warmth or um, um cold so uh if i go up like this i have a bit warmer uh, uh, shadows uh, that like tend to cyan for this case and uh, bluer bluer shadows so I think I'm just gonna go a bit more cyan yeah a bit more cyan I, I really like this kind of uh, look mid-tone uh, mid-tone it affects most of his skin tone because it's actually in a good spectrum for the mid-tones I'm just uh, gonna uh, stay around what we had actually because I like what we had uh, highlights yeah it's gonna affect um, the neon so I I'm not I, I don't need this 
and uh, film grain we said like we're gonna do it last so uh, like this is the moment uh, here the, um, the film grain is a bit too intense so I'm just gonna uh, reduce the amount because I, I kind of like having uh, not too much just a subtle subtle okay the res we keep it like this and uh i put some alition ah uh, some alition uh let's see if it's doing something up i'm just gonna go a bit more uh source limiter i don't want a source limiter i just want to amplify ah okay i just a tiny bit not too much yeah so if you can see um if you can see i have it enabled so you see on the ears it's doing something sorry you see on the ears it's doing something and uh if i enable this uh we don't have the addition going on so i uh, just just a tad uh, that would be nice and some bloom i think for the for the uh, neon would be really cool actually and uh, i don't want to have like too much diffusion just tiny bit just tiny bit yes something like this okay okay and so for the vignette um i actually like to do it by myself actually so just using my power windows uh so we're just gonna uh, make him go up a bit it's gonna like that like this and we add an outside node so then it's around him and just like make him pop out okay so this is the vignette and actually this is my uh this is my look <laughs> this is nice right um so i'm just gonna show you what we've done uh so first we've put the cst okay we put the cst and we put the enhancer um so the enhancer like uh we first uh, just chose our film and uh, the end the printing method of our film and then like we uh, add our LGG we add our HDR to control the light and for the skin we just like moved a bit around um, the color wrapper and after for the enhancer we went back and put the alation and put the, the film grain and also like tweaked a bit uh, the film print just like to have something a bit more pleasing and we went like for vignette um this is all this is what we have right now i hope like the video uh, help and you like the final look that we have right now tell me if you uh tried the answer and uh you like it for me in recent projects it really saved me uh, so uh, yeah i hope like you liked it uh, i see you next week bye guys <laughs>